Our other top story, get ready. Another atmospheric river is headed our way. That means a lot of rain and a lot of potential problems. Now, as that storm gets closer, keeping an eye on mountains and streams has become a top priority. NBC Bayer's Ian Cole shows us what's being done to prepare. Though the sun was shining bright and the Alameda Creek was nearly still today, our meteorologists say it's the calm before the storm and the creek will quickly rise tomorrow. According to the National Weather Service, it'll reach 7.9 feet late tomorrow or early Thursday. The volume that we have going through this river, that's quite a bit. That's definitely going to be a change. Gervere Sandhu lives in the area and expects there will be impacts on commuters through Niles Canyon, as there are often slides on the road. In fact, Niles Canyon was closed for much of January last year because of storm damage. With mudslides and everything, yeah, it's, it's dangerous. Um, it's something where, thankfully, our city's been capable of getting uh, people out there quick enough to let us know shut them off the roads. Also today, PG&E says crews have placed extra power poles and power lines in its yards and they're ready to respond. So we have technology that helps us determine where we can expect the most outages so that we can send the right number of crews to the right place at the right time. The Santa Cruz Mountains are also expected to see some damage. Back here in Fremont, the city says it will be monitoring the storm and the creek and ready to respond if needed. So it's a game of watch and wait as the Bay Area anticipates another storm on the last day of January. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.